day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. With, with everyone, Christian and non-Christian alike, when you are in the flesh, you are going to have a default response that it, it could be, you know, more tampered down because, you know, you, you are, you, you are a Christian, but for the most part, it's still going to appeal to right. your flesh because right. it becomes about you. Yeah, yeah. It always is about you in that moment of uh, moving from love, love, perspective right. of love. So, right. and, 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 and even, even when you're, when you're upset with someone and you're, you're stern with them, that can still be done in the spirit. You it can does, yeah. still read somebody exactly. in the spirit. Right. Meaning that you can you can chastise somebody, whether they be young or old, in the spirit. Right. Because sometimes people don't hear you. Right. Right. Until you get stern with them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. Because people people are already they're looking past you. <laughs> and um and they're not dealing with you. <laughs> they're 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 selfish and so they're they're dealing with their their wants and their desires. So they're looking past you. <laughs> I like but that. Sometimes you need to grab their attention. Okay. And sometimes <laughs> it takes it takes a, a, a stern voice, it takes a raised voice, you know, uh, it takes some emotion to, you know, to snatch them back into your, you know, snatch them, snatch their vision back into where they can see you <laughs> and hey, hear you. Who, who does that apply to, a believer or non-believer? It applies to everyone. So, so to, to snatch them back, can you, you, I mean, can you, can you, can you, uh, if a person does not have not received Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior, what firmness, how, how do you, how do you, how do you, uh, balance that out as far as, you know, getting their attention and firmness? Oh, what, well, you know, a lot of people, if you're not, if you're not saved, you know, you, you, to get someone's attention, you, you get in their face, you start cussing at them, you make accusations, you know, and, and a lot of times you don't even get your point across you <laughs> because, because you're acting out of flesh. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. so my point is, you know, there, there's a way of, of getting someone's attention. Okay. <laughs> without making accusations. Exactly. Well, or, or, or acting out of love. Right. Um, I can only imagine uh, when Jesus was turning over the table. I mean, I hate going to that, you know, because everybody goes, you know, it's like a default was Jesus turned over the, the money tables and all this other stuff. That was out of love. Hey, look, it you know, that was, that, that, that was, you don't let nobody come into your house <laughs> and start abusing it. You know but, what I'm saying? Yeah, but put and, that in, and, put that in balance on the fact is that those people were there to worship God, right? I mean, they that's what it went to the temple for, right? He they yeah. but they they obviously they had to exchange money. Well, uh, the people who money. were who were uh, merchants, right? I, I, I'll, I'll label them all as that. Yeah, they weren't there to worship God. They were there because they're doing what a lot of these churches today are doing. They are making a business out of uh, a house of worship. Right. They're, 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 making, they're, they're, they're trying to profit off of God. Right. And so uh, 
Jesus wasn't having it, you know, because there are people that he had love for that were being abused, that were being used, that were taken advantage of. The, the, uh, just, just to make sure people understand, the people that went to the temple to and bought these products at the temple was you're going to use those for sacrifices, right? Yeah. And the den of thieves was there to steal, take advantage of, uh, disrespect the gospel. Meaning, meaning they, when he said den of thieves, I mean, they're not there, like you said, those merchants was not necessarily there to be they, as believers, right? They were there just- yeah, and, and, and we gotta be correct. They didn't they go there for the gospel because the gospel wasn't being taught at that time. Uh, by, I mean, the Old Testament, they were there for the Old Testament. Yeah, they were going there to worship God. Right. That's what they were going for. Right. Um, and they needed to not, change, they needed to do dogs and goats yeah. and, and whatever for sin offering, right? Yeah. Uh, and we, it's possible, I'm not sure, it is possible that those merchants were not Israelites. It's possible. I, I know that you, if you remember, Paul was attacked because somebody accused him of bringing a Greek into the temple. You, you mm -hmm. Yeah. So is it, do you believe it's possible that those merchants were Jewish people? Meaning I mean, they, they, they could have been, they, they could have been anybody that saw <laughs> revenue, <laughs> uh, uh, opportunity. Okay, Anybody okay. saw a chance to take advantage of an opportunity. That, that's all that was. And it could have started off, like most things, started off good. Well, right. instead of these people having to travel to go find these different, yeah. uh, these, these, these spotless doves right. and these spotless calves and, and, or whatever, uh, we can make them available right here. Exactly. That was but but it, it, it got abused. It the, did. The, the, so I, I, I see both, which is what happens in just about everything. Right. And, what, and, and I guess I'm saying that for people is that his, re, his response was in line with, hey, look, this is a temple. This is not a club, right? In other words, Christ is not going to go to a club and turn over tables, right? Yeah. Christ is not going to go to your picnic, your your job. Your, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was in the proper setting for the appropriate response to, a, to bad behavior. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So to somebody, I'm just, only reason I'm saying that for anybody that's listening is when, when, when they give that excuse that you said, well, Christ threw over tables and stuff like that, he did it in the, in the content of where you are doing and operating outside of the what the doctrines, the the the, the purpose of the, the purpose temple of its purpose. It was exactly. it was being abused, you know. Exactly. And it's, it's like I like what Miles Monroe said: if you don't know the purpose of a thing, come on, you abuse the thing. Exactly. Uh, and, and there was abuse. Exactly. You know, because they lost track of the purpose. Yes of what these things represented and what that those grounds were meant to be. Holy ground. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I often say, I remember growing up, I could be just, you know, in, in what we've coined to be devilment, you know, which was basically just out being a kid, <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing kid stuff. But once we got past, got in the church area, not even in the church, but just <laughs> right, we would stop. Yeah. You know, everything would, and we would actually stop our conversation sometimes. Do reverence. Just, and, and it wasn't, it wasn't nobody going, shh, 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 shh here's the church. It was just, the group would just stop. <laughs> no, because we reverenced the church that much as kids, you right. know, and, and I think a lot of it had to do with us getting, 
getting smacked by anybody in the church for being <laughs> an Iowa line back then. <laughs> you know, it was, and a lot of times it, it became just a look right. that would get us in line if we were if we were falling asleep or or you know <laughs> chat too loud or, or doing something we shouldn't be doing in church. But right. And but anyway, there there was a reference. Exactly. So with that is perspective, now I'm talking about outside of the church, uh, outside the ministry, meaning not in the temple, not in the church four walls, dealing with people out in the world, the attention you was talking about, where would that apply to somebody did you know, don't even know, may not even know Christ. How could you be? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm confused with you. Well, I tell about how to get loud with somebody. I mean, I'm, I'm saying within the same conversation we're talking about. And you're talking about the fact that sometimes you got to be a little bit more forceful, right? A little more vigorating and, 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 and bringing to somebody's attention and, and snatching them back. When, if they're not a if you see what I'm saying, if they're not a believer, could that? Yeah, I mean, if 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 I was talking to somebody who wasn't a believer, you know, obviously I would be led to first of all. Um, second of all, it would could be something like, no, 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 hold up now, listen, yeah. listen, okay. you know, something like that. Okay. Not 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 like, oh, you guys is fools, you know. <laughs> You can't. Or, or something like that. I'm not going to put them down. Exactly. I'm going to get their attention. Right. I'm going to try and get get as close to their level yes. th without, you know, going over the top. Right. Because but there, there's ways of getting people's attention. Right. Because you can just be like, no, 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 brother. That that ain't that ain't right. This is how how it should be. Right. You know, and and then if they shut you down, they shut you down. Shut you down. It, right. It's right. You know, and you just don't cast your pearls before the swine. Exactly. You, know, you always give them opportunity. Exactly. You know, this gospel has to be teached throughout all of the world. Right. You know, and, and, and people have to accept it and deny it. Exactly. And so I'm just fulfilling filling the requirements so that my, my father can send my brother back. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and I guess I'm going to say, because obviously, and you know, we talked about last week, it, it, all is going to a certain purpose. I want to. I want to get to to the uh, what 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 would you do then? Why would somebody do exchange their soul for certain things in this world? And I first, I want to make sure. And I I guess we better go straight to it. If the person is not a believer, then obviously your approach to them is different. Because it's not that they're exchanging their soul. They've already exchanged their souls anyway, right? They already, if they're not a believer anyway, they have already condemned already. That, that what the Bible says, right? They already condemn already. Oh, so, yeah. so the only people you're really talking about now, because we get into now I'm getting right to what we're going to come to, is <laughs> if you are a believer. And you get so wrapped up in, uh, let's say, the cares of this world, political things in this world. If you get caught up into still having uh, racial animosity, hate, to the point where you will do, you react to the world based on the default setting. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, for example, I'm going to attack the Capitol on January the 6th, they said, and said that that was appropriate behavior. Or when, when a Christian slapped their wife or husband on the refrigerator, but they say they're Christians. Or a believer uh, molested somebody, but they say they're a believer. Now, now we're talking about did they exchange their soul 
Or maybe they even never, even, they, you know, they never really received Christ. That that's probably a possibility too. But some of them said they profess it, right? They profess. Well, I mean, I'm be, falling prey to the flesh is just that. Is that now? If you're practicing that, that's a whole nother story, right? You know, there there is no grade of sin. There's no levels of sin. Sin is sin. Yeah. When you give way to it, then the wages of it is death. They're uh, uh, no different than in the garden. You did not die <laughs> physically and instantly. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Adam, Adam and Eve did not die at that moment that they ate of the fruit. Right. At that very precise moment. But that separation right. from God, from that act, severed the connection. Yes. Yes. And so that connection severed that life that they lost was the source, the continual source of life. And so death came, de de death arrived from that point on. And so death was a part of humanity yes. since right. that particular time. Prior to that, there was no death because there was no separation from right. God, that that life source was connected. There was a connection. That's like if you take a tree and uproot the tree, it is disconnected from its source of life, which is the nutrients being given in the ground. Yes, sir. It still lives, but it is dying daily yes. by the minute. Yes. And then you know it because soon the leaves will start turning brown then they will fall off and then the branches will start withering and right. it will get down to the thickest parts of that tree yeah until it completely dries out um What's so that 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 is the the disconnection but there is still a a communication yes sir there was a communication that is there right with with god even though that connection is right. severed right. so there are things you can do and things that are done by christians that are done in the flesh and yes. obviously those are not of god right does that mean that person is not saved you know god forbid because that means i'm not saved because I'm not always in the spirit. And I'm not always uh, doing the things that God would have me to do. But there is a, a grace that has been given to me. Yes. And there is a, a antidote this, this, this to that, which, which is Jesus Christ. And so... You, I, I say that you 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 can do atrocities and still be a child of God because it, it's it's all through in types and shadows in the Old Testament. You got, I mean, one of the perfect examples. Well, there's a lot of perfect examples. You have uh, David. Now, this man had, you know, was after God's very heart when it comes to to the relationship and yet he did atrocities i mean what did he do that <laughs> we're bringing, that, that we're we bringing, consider real real bad right seriously i agree i agree i want i want to i want to the, the, the difference between the dispensation of old testament new testament a little different so because that was the covenant people i want to talk about the from a christian perspective of gentile coming into the body of Christ. And I want to talk about the, what I'm talking about bad behavior, um, you know, from from lynching or something like that. And I want you to look at the scripture and then formulate what you just said, or, or you go further. Let's look at the scripture and then break this down. We read it last week, because we're going to go into Mark 5 afterward. We're going to go into the Beatitude. 